How's it guys? It's uh, Marius Mossert here from Venom Leos Africa. Uh, I spent the past weekend at the Nemesis Dam of KZN, also known as Bivon Dam, especially after the FLW final. Uh, the guys struggled and uh, to be very fair, that dam can be very, very tough uh, if the fish aren't hungry. But um, yeah, the last weekend I was there and uh, the fishing was pretty good. I had some good video footage, but unfortunately the wind was, was quite quite hectic on the dam and um, yeah the footage is of no use so I'm just going to give you a rundown on what I've used and what what really worked there and uh, and then I'll pop on some photos of some of the fish that I caught um, most of the fish were were between one and two cages I couldn't get a, a decent kicker above two cages but very very healthy very fat very strong and uh, I had quite quite a fun time uh, fishing with on um, the first lure I want to I want to share with you guys it's it's something I've never actually used. Um, I've been having it for quite a while, but uh, knowing me, obviously having the salty sling as a comfort bait, it's it's tough to really go to anything else, especially at Bivon Dam where you know it can be tough. So what I did was I used these uh, pepper grass worms from Venom. It's a uh, it's a 10 inch worm. It's quite a large worm, 10 inch. Um, Immediately you would think Bivon Dam, tough conditions, scale down, go small, go finesse. And you know what, I know there's decent fish in there and I gave it a crack. Um, on, the, on the one piece of footage, I actually discussed the worm and on my first cast I, I got a fish. Unfortunately it was so windy you can't really see or hear anything there. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, the pepper grass worm, 10 inch by Venom Lures. You can rig it on, on, on various ways. Uh, you can use a normal Texas rig. I'll quickly show you how that one goes. Normal Texas. You just uh, nose hook it there, push it through across the shank, over the eye and over the knot. And as any normal worm, like a Senko, whatever it be, just measure it up, put it there. Make sure it hangs true, and uh, there you got it. Got a, a 3 0 Gamagatsu hook there, white gap on a glass bead, and a tungsten weight. Immediately, guys would think, Yeah, you need a larger hook, you need to go 5 6 0. On a 10 inch worm, it's not really going to make a difference because you're going to maybe save half an inch or, or gain half an inch. And um, one of the mistakes I made a couple of times, pure instinct. When you feel that bite, you want to strike immediately. Got to give it an extra couple of seconds, make sure it engulfs this whole 10-inch worm. You'll see in one of the photos where the whole worm was actually stuck in his throat. Uh, quite nice. Um, there's another way. You can rig it on a, on a, on a shake head. Looks like a football head, shake head. Uh, what I usually do in a case like this, because this pepper grass worm's nose is, is tapered, I'll just cut off the top tip like that two little segments just so you've got a, a straight surface or straight nose there and then you just screw it onto the spring like that and you've got it hanging like this and then same scenario you measure it up go 90 degrees in out and skin it there you go so this will actually lie on the bottom and then this 10 inch worm will go crazy on, on, the, on the bottom of the lake uh, which is quite successful um, and also two colors you get it in the, the watermelon red there and then also you get it in the black emerald um, very very good colors um, and yeah quite a successful year very impressed and it'll definitely be tied on uh, with my next fishing trip wherever then also uh, with the wind that, that picked up quite a bit I had to go to the uh, rattle shake, also by Venom, this particular color, nice green pumpkin type color with a chartreuse painted head there, some chartreuse strands on the on the skirts, and um, yeah, on a six foot nine medium rod, uh, throw it right next to the to the to the edge of the the cliffs, and bring it slowly, and um, yeah, very very successful. It was either this or the spinnerbait. I gave a couple of throws on the spinnerbait as well. Especially after my farm farm pond expedition with a rattle shake, I really looked forward to throwing this instead of a spinnerbait, and uh, yeah, I had quite good success there. And uh, yeah, that's everything. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, Bivon, lovely place, lovely setup. Um, once again, it can be tough, but when it's good, it's really good. 
Um, yeah, please have a look at the, the photos and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel and uh, give me a like on Facebook. Thank you very much. Have a good day.